Good morning, brothers and sisters. Today is Wednesday. It is March 23rd, and we are in the third week of ordin or we are in the third week of Lent, not ordinary time. Um, to those who are doing the live stream, I apologize. I am uh, running a little bit slow today, um, but here we are. Friends, let's begin our morning prayer with the invitatory. Lord, open my lips and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Come, let us worship Christ the Lord, who for our sake endured temptation and suffering. Come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are his people, the flock he shepherds. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness, when at Meribah and Massa, they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Forty years I endured that generation. I said they are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us worship Christ the Lord, who for our sake endured temptation and suffering. Let all mortal flesh keep silence, and with fear and trembling stand. Ponder nothing earthly-minded, for with blessing in his hand, Christ our Lord to earth descendeth, our full homage to demand. Rank on rank the host of heaven, Spreads its vanguard on the way. As the light of light descendeth. For the realms of endless day. That the powers of hell may vanish. As the darkness clears away. Give joy to your servant, Lord. To you I lift up my heart. Turn your ear, O Lord, and give answer, for I am poor and needy. Preserve my life, for I am faithful. Save the servant who trusts in you. You are my God, have mercy on me, Lord, for I cry to you all the day long. Give joy to your servant, O Lord, for to you I lift up my soul. O Lord, you are good and forgiving, full of love to all who call. Give heed, O Lord, to my prayer, and attend to the sound of my voice. In the day of distress I will call, and surely you will reply. Among the gods there is none like you, O Lord, nor work to compare with yours. All the nations shall come to adore you, and glorify your name, O Lord. For you are great and do marvelous deeds, you who alone are God. Show me, Lord, your way, so that I may walk in your truth. Guide my heart to fear your name. I will praise you, Lord my God, with all my heart, and glorify your name forever. For your love to me, for your love to me has been great. You have saved me from the depths of the grave. The proud have risen against me, ruthless men seek my life. To you they pay no heed. But you, God of mercy and compassion, slow to anger, O Lord, abounding in love and truth, turn and take pity on me. O give your strength to your servant and save your handmaid son. Show me a sign of your favor. 
that my foes may see to their shame, that you console me and give me your help. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. God of mercy and goodness, when Christ called out to you in torment, you heard him and gave him victory over death because of his love for you. We already know the affection you have for us. Fill us with a greater love of your name, and we will proclaim you more boldly before men and happily lead them to celebrate your glory. Give joy to your servant, Lord. To you I lift up my heart. Blessed is the upright man who speaks the truth. Hear, you who are far off, what I have done. You who are near, acknowledge my might. On Zion sinners are in dread. Trembling grips, trembling grips the impious. Who of us can live with the consuming fire? Who of us can live with the everlasting flames? He who practices virtue and speaks honestly, who spurns what is gained by oppression, brushing his hands free of contact with a bride, stopping his ears lest he hear of bloodshed, closing his eyes lest he look on evil. He shall dwell on the heights. His stronghold shall be the rocky fastness, his food and drink in steady supply. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Blessed is the upright man who speaks the truth. Let us celebrate with joy in the presence of our Lord and King. Sing to the Lord a Sing, to, sing a new song to the Lord, for he has worked wonders. His right hand and his holy arm have brought salvation. The Lord has made known his salvation, has shown his justice to the nations. He has remembered his truth and love for the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Shout to the Lord, all the earth, ring out your joy. Sing psalms to the Lord with the harp with the sound of music, with the trumpets and the sound of the horn, acclaim the King, the Lord. Let the sea and all within it thunder, the world and all its peoples. Let the rivers clap their hands, and the hills ring out their joy. Rejoice at the presence of the Lord, for he comes to rule the earth. He will rule the world with justice, and the peoples with fairness. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord Jesus, you have revealed your justice to all nations. We stood condemned, and you came to be judged in our place. Send your saving power on us, and when you come in glory, bring your mercy to those for whom you were condemned. Let us celebrate with joy in the presence of our Lord and King. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. The Lord your God has chosen you from all the nations on the face of the earth to be a people peculiarly his own. It was because the Lord loved you and because of his fidelity to the oath he had sworn to your fathers that he brought you out with, a, with his strong hand from the place of slavery, and ransomed you from the hand of Pharaoh, king of Egypt. Understand then that the Lord your God is God indeed, the faithful God who keeps his merciful covenant to the thousandth generation toward those who love him and keep his commandments. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> God himself will set me free. From the hunter's snare. God Himself will set me free from the hunter's snare, from those who would trap me with lying words, and from the hunter's snare. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. God Himself will set me free from the hunter's snare. 
The Lord said, Do not think that I have come to abolish the law and the prophets. I have not come to abolish, but to fulfill them. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight, all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord said, Do not think that I have come to abolish the law and the prophets. I have come not to abolish them, but to fulfill them. Blessed be God, the giver of salvation, who decreed that mankind should become a new creation in himself when all would be made new. With great confidence, let us ask him, Lord, renew us in your spirit. Lord, you promised a new heaven and a new earth. Renew us daily through your spirit, that we may enjoy your presence forever in the heavenly Jerusalem. Lord, renew us in your spirit. Help us to work with you to make this world alive with your spirit and to build on earth a city of justice, love, and peace. Lord, renew us in your spirit. Free us from all negligence and sloth, and give us joy in your gifts of grace. Lord, renew us in your spirit. Deliver us from evil, and from slavery to the senses, which blinds us to goodness. Excuse me. Lord, renew us in your spirit. Gathering these prayers, these intentions, calling to mind the prayers and the intentions of our own hearts, we lift up our petitions, gathering all of them now into one, offering them with the one prayer that Christ taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, during this Lenten season, nourish us with your word of life, and make us one in love and prayer. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And friends, thank you for joining me today for morning prayer from the Liturgy of the Hours. Um, how good it is, how good it is for us to join together praying the prayer of the church, praying with the church, praying on behalf of the church and for all her members. Friends, just as that gentle reminder, be, remember to pray for one another. Um, I'm praying for you. I hope you're praying for me. I still have these, these couple of special intentions um, that I need for, uh, that I would ask for you to pray for. I need for you to pray for, but know that I am certainly praying for you and I hope that uh, all of us are praying for one another, this little community, this little group of prayer that we have. Friends, uh, if you're in West Michigan, it looks like it's going to be cold and rainy today, or at least it is a little bit right now. Um, 
but that is okay. We can still love and serve the Lord eh, despite any cold, despite any rain. Friends, whether you are out and about today, whether you are staying in, remember to be safe today, remember to be healthy today, remember to be happy today, but above all, remember to be holy today, to live out the holiness of Jesus Christ in your life today. Friends, may God be praised in you, may God be praised through you, and I do hope that you have a beautiful day today.